Today in the livestock market, we had live cattle and feeder cattle both limit down. The fire at the Tyson food plant uh, uh, really pressed that market. The lower pa uh, packer capacity and the Titan cash market is really what sent the market immediately. It opened limit down, expanded limits tomorrow. Watch out, this could be a wild ride. We expect uh, that Tyson said that they would expect to rebuild uh, without a doubt, uh, but how long will that take? So uh, the uncertainty is going to loom for uh, quite a while right now. With the feeders limit down, the process uncertainty uh, for the entire industry has people worried. I mean, they were processing 6,000 head of cattle. So there's going to be a mad scramble as to uh, where they go. So it's going to take a few days before we can get our footing as to what's really uh, happening right now. I think that there is a big market anxiety and that might uh, that might be with us really for a couple of days until we can decide what's happening. Uh, all bets are off. No one's even worried right now about the, the U.S.-China deal. That's also kind of weighing negatively here. And we've been knowing that in the beef complex, we were looking for some kind of market direction uh, or some news to give us some market direction, and we certainly got it. It broke out of that uh, consolidated channel, uh, certainly to the downside. We are in oversold uh, uh, conditions right now. Maybe we can get a rebound in the next couple of days. Uh, maybe not. We're going to watch for that, but big volatility ahead. Uh, hogs were lowered. Interestingly enough, they did start out higher, but the bearish sentiment across the, complement, uh, the complex uh, just pulled it down. At one point, they were all, uh, all limit down. Uh, which is, just tells you how uh, sympathetic sometimes uh, these complex contracts uh, trade together. But uh, I think that the, it, it, the pressure on the futures uh, will probably remain as, uh, you know, as the beef um, complex really starts to pick back up. But it's creating real uh, worries for outside uh, the pork market, even though uh, our demand is a little bit... Um, uh, it isn't as bad as it looks right now, and we are totally beyond, we have overshot our objective in the hog market uh, so much that we expect that maybe at some point it can turn around, but with the uh, weight of these limit down moves on cattle and feeders, uh, you watch out, uh, anything can happen going forward in the next couple of days.